some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Anderson, South Carolina with career killer audits. And this is going to be a real career killer for him because he gets kicked out of the probation and parole office in a fairly quick manner. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, guys. So we are here on, I believe it's Tower Street. Uh, here in Anderson, South Carolina. We're actually headed down to the uh, probation and parole office. Um, one... I want to speak with them in reference to a uh, agent of theirs who was driving reckless and uh, speeding over the speed limit yesterday. And two, just going to see if they respect my rights to video and record in a public space. So, How do you know what speed they were going? Do you have a radar gun that we don't know about? And why do you idiots always think that the probation and parole office is a public space? It's far from that because these guys that come in there, they want to remain private. They don't want their actions to get out in the public. And considering that a lot of these guys that go in there are convicted felons and some of them don't want their pictures taken and quite possibly are not afraid to go back to prison, well... You can imagine what would happen. We'll see. I believe this is hit 313. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we're here. 313 West Church Street. 313 West Church Street. I don't know if this is the entrance or not, but we'll never see. Yes. I don't. Uh, as you can see guys, most of this building seems to be the Clemson Extension. I don't. Are you here from court or anything? What's that? Are you here from court or anything like that? I just said I don't need any help. Well, sir, you're walking around here with a camera on you. And, that's and I can do good. that. Sir, excuse me? And I can do that. Why are you walking around with a camera? Because I can. First of all, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do that thing. Can I chop my own leg off with an axe? Sure I could. Do I want to do that? No, I don't, because that would be completely stupid and debilitating. Second of all, did you bother even looking at the rules and regulations of that building before you entered it? No, of course you didn't, because that would not fit your narrative. Sorry, am I getting an attitude with you? You I'm are. You a question. You're interrupting my video. Thank you. Is Agent Sterling Hill in today or his supervisor? Ma'am, I don't want to give my name. I just need to speak to a supervisor if he's here. And I still have it. I have two of them. Please tell me what law I'm breaking. None. Exactly. Get on my face. Guess what? If you continue with an attitude like that, they're going to want to kick you out of that place. 
And there is nothing you can do about it but whine and complain about it and say that it's illegal, which it's not. So, keep it up! What's going on, man? I'll be standing right here. And I said I don't need Sir, any help. I'm talking about boss. Give me one second, please. You're talking about me? Yes, I am, sir. I've given you no lip or no disrespect. There's no reason you need to do that to me right now. There is no reason for you to ask me, can you help me? This is a public space. I'm open to move freely as I want to. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Is this a public space? For people on supervision? No. Is this a public space? Is this building limited to only people that are on supervision? We have clubs and extension downstairs. This is a probation office. Okay. But my question is, is this space limited to only people? No, you can't. And I've already told this gentleman he can't. But you have no reason to be on this floor, sir. You have no business. Sir, did you not just see me go to that window? And I asked if I could help you with a camera strap. You can't help me with anything. I already told you that. The person that I want to speak to, I went to the window to ask for them. You're not him. I'm 100% confident. Come on, we'll right. go here and find out who you're looking for. Come on. And who are you? I'm an assistant agent in charge. Come on, we're going okay. to I need you to go this way. Come on. You don't tell me where it is. Yes, goes. I can. I can actually remove you from this building. Yep. Okay. We'll find out today. What's that, sir? Yeah. Okay. Who did you ask for? Did you sign in? I didn't sign in. She didn't ask me to sign in. Is that your policy to sign in? Yes, yes. it is. Oh, well, you might want to get on her. She didn't tell me to sign in. Did he? Who did he ask for? You didn't ask to speak to anybody? Uh, ask her what I asked her. Did you speak no, to did anybody? No, did you ask to speak to anybody? That's what we're wanting to know. And if you ask her, she'll tell I'm you. To, do you. I don't have to tell you Yes, anything. you do. Okay, you'll find out. I can't. Sterling. 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 See? Supervisor. That lady was all the way back there and she heard it. So how come she didn't hear it and she was right there? Okay. Sounds like a bunch of... I don't have to answer. Are your question. you on probation? I don't have to answer your yes. question. You need to leave the building. Come on, you have to sir. Leave don't touch me. Yes, to do. You don't have to leave. I can instruct you okay. to leave this building. All right. You place your trespass. Are you gonna place my trespass from yes, a public space? Yes, we can. From a public yes, space. We can. Okay. Hey, you moron! That is not a public space. It is a probation office generally closed to the public. And even if it were open to the public, South Carolina law still says that you can be trespassed. Which one of you frauders started this BS about nobody can be trespassed from a public building? Because it is a load of garbage. Every time I look up this law, it's generally the same throughout each state. From a public space? Yes, we can. All right, we're going to find out. You being resistive? I don't have to be resistive. You don't give me lawful orders. We just did. Step out okay. The okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to go live now. We're here at the probation office. This is not... Do you, have an, do you have an ID on you? No, you're not getting my ID. Do you have an you're ID not on getting my Yes, ID. we can require. South Carolina Court no. can require you to no. possess ID. That's only when I've broken the law, or you no, can articulate that I have correct... That's no. incorrect. No, you're not correct. You're being disorderly conduct. I'm being disorderly because yes. you're refusing me in a public space. We're no. not refusing you. We ask you who you need to see. Did the lady just tell you who I asked to speak to? Okay, so I just asked to speak to someone, correct? When we asked you about the person, you said Agent Hill. Okay. No, I didn't. I said Agent Hill's supervisor, supervisor, not Agent Hill. Okay, and when we said something about going to get him, you said what? I don't need to talk to you. I don't need to talk to him is what I said. Him. He asked me no, that I need this up. Of, he is an agent of this department. He can ask anyone anything up in the hallway yeah. that is standing in the And I don't have hallway. to answer the no, question. you do. No, I you don't. you can be removed from the okay. office. Okay, how about we contact the police department? They can explain it to you. And we'll put you on trespass notice. Okay, well, you'll find out. This is a First Amendment protected activity. That's incorrect. You're, okay, okay, we'll we find to out. back to uh, Kellogg's Law School you went to. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love that one. Kellogg's Law School. So now we have uh, Chile de Castro School of Law and Kellogg's Law School. I just wonder which one is the equivalent of Harvard and which one is the equivalent of Yale. And what's your name again? Oh, wait. I don't have to tell you that. Oh, you know what you true. Said? That's so true. <laughs> Did you have paperwork for Mr. 
Hey, can you send a city officer up to the front? I asked to speak to his supervisor. South Tower Street. We're going to place an individual trespass notice in this building. This is uh, Travis Holcomb, assistant agent in charge. Thank you, Travis Holcomb. Dummy. Uh, 2457404. Well, that's where the video ends. So let me ask you guys something. Do you think A, he ran out of battery power and just decided to call it? Or B, the police showed up later on and he was to be proven wrong? Me personally, I think it's the latter. I think he found out how wrong he was and decided not to show it. But what do you expect from a frauditor? They're not going to show you how wrong they are unless they do it by accident. And that does happen from time to time. You do see videos where they show you how wrong they are, but they are too stupid to see it.